Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Builds. And today, you know what? I thought it's such a beautiful day outside. Just to kind of show you, um, like I said, the sun is out and I mean, it is just a gorgeous day out. It's nice and warm out. And I thought a perfect project for a beautiful day like this, because it's spring, would be to make some type of little small bird feeder. To start this project, I got a couple pieces of scrap wood and I have little bits of scrap wood everywhere, but I found what I'm gonna call a premium piece of scrap because this is an old piece of decking um, that was just kind of laying out in the yard, rotting away. It's treated lumber, um, so it's actually really good to have for something that's gonna be used outside. But anyway, this is a piece of one by six decking, and then I also have a piece of particle board, and we're gonna be cutting this up for the sides. But anyway, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna cut from this anyway. We're gonna cut one piece at 12 inches, to give us our base, so let's cut that. Okay, we have our piece of one by six cut down to 12 inches. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna cut two angular pieces off of this. And the reason you wanna do that is because when you go to put the bird food in, you wanna have them on an angle, so that way the food will kinda of stay in there. And I'll show you what I mean. But first, let's go ahead and cut two triangular pieces. And I'm gonna cut these angles at 20 degrees on my wheel. Okay, now I have my two end pieces cut with a 20 degree angle on either side. There's something I want to point out too that's of importance because I'm just going to be putting a little flat roof on the top of this to make for easy removal. And what, what I'm going to be doing is, as you can see here, at least I'm hoping you can, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, I wanted these to be the same width as this board because I'm going to be cutting one more board like that for the roof of this. But anyway, now that we have these, let's go ahead and nail this guy together. And now we have those two little guys screwed to that piece of wood. We're gonna make our side pieces in here. And just to show you what I mean again, we just made this, we got our base plate, and now we want two side pieces, but we want a little bit of a gap at the bottom of the side piece, so that way the food can actually come out for the birds to get it. So what we're gonna first do, because these angles are actually six inches in length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip a board to five inches. So we have our little gap down here. And we're gonna be using this scrap piece of particle board to do that. So let's go ahead and rip this down to two pieces of five inches, and then we'll cut them to length, which the length is going to be 12 inches. Now that I have two of those cut, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna physically do is again, I wanna keep that gap. I want about a one inch gap right here. So I'm going to take and put one of these boards on either side, and with these, we're gonna screw them down real quick. I do wanna point out that I did make a mark to show me where my one inch mark is before screwing this totally into place. And now that we have this screwed together, as you can see, and we have our little gap down here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut one more board for the top to use as the roof. And again, I am trying to keep this as simple as possible, and I'm only using scraps. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting this to 12 inches in length. As you can see, I already have my mark here. And then we're just gonna put two little pieces of wood on the inside of this to hold it into place. I changed up my plan and here's why. I had a scrap piece of one by two, so I went ahead and cut two pieces of that to put on the edge so the birds can sit here and get at it easily. But I also changed up the top because I had such a big enough piece that I went ahead and cut two small wedges, then screwed it all together, and then I just put the two wooden knobs in there to make it hold into place. And I'll show you what I mean. There you go. Uh, now I have a nice, cool bird feeder. Now all we're gonna do is we're simply gonna put some bird food in here and hopefully it doesn't come flying out. And voila, there we have it. It holds it up nice and evenly. Now we just need to stake it, stick it out in the yard somewhere and let the birds have a little fun. Once you're ready to get it out in the yard and mount it in a tree, simply put a screw on either side of it, take an old metal coat hanger, wrap it around the screw, fill it up with bird seed, and there you go. You have a bird feeder. And from the immortal words of Porky Pig, that's all, folks. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas on how you can build some things around your house using wood scraps. Because again, I know the price of wood is insanely high right now, and I even don't want to purchase any to do any projects. So with that being said, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Builds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And hopefully, we'll see you next time on Bevan's Builds.